Hello ladies! So I know that you have requested a tutorial on showing you ladies how I do my hair, how I do my makeup and also how I take care of my skin. I promise you I will show you all of these three but today we're going to start with hair. I want to show you my usual standard procedure of hairstyling. I only style my hair in one way. I like to curl it with a curling iron and that's exactly what you will be seeing today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Anna and I run an online finishing school called School of Affluence. This is an online program for those ladies who want to become a better version of themselves, to become more elegant and navigate successfully in high society. So if you're interested, join schoolofaffluence.com. Okay, let's start with this what, what is this? Hair tutorial? Yes, let's start with this hair tutorial. I washed my hair last night. Usually I prefer styling my hair on freshly washed hair. So I would basically wash my hair, let's say now, and then I would blow dry it, usually with my hair upside down. I don't add any products once I have washed my hair. I just blow dry it as it is and then just curl it as it is. So I always start with brushing my hair. Um, obviously I have pre-brushed it before. And then I separate it in two pieces because it's just how I feel most comfortable doing. You know, I don't really have a set routine how I start to curl. It just depends what feels most comfortable in the moment, if I'm multitasking. You know, sometimes you like to maybe stay a bit on your phone with one hand or something. Because styling your hair can take an awful loads amount of time. And to be honest, let me know in the comment section if you agree or not, but I personally do not like doing my hair at all. It's one of the most boring and time-consuming beauty tasks that are out there. But if you think there are a beauty task that is even more boring or more time-consuming, just leave me a comment below and let me know. So today I feel like starting from the back. So I take a piece of hair. For those of you who do not know, I have hair extensions. So I have keratin bonds. Let me see if I can show them to you. Uh, I don't know if you can see them on camera. Something like that. So I need to be very careful not to curl on my keratin bonds because that will ruin them. So I've taken an amount of hair and then I start curling it and I use GHD curler. I used to use Baby Bliss but I found GHD to really be more powerful and it just gets the job done quicker. So then I wrap it around like this and just hold it for, let's say, I don't know, 20 seconds. The size of the curling iron that I'm using is the smallest one because GHD has two sizes, one for loose curls and one, one for tight curls. So the one that I use is for tight curls. Really the best if you have hair like me where the curls don't really last so long. Okay, now time to take out. So that's kind of how it comes out. I don't know if you ladies see, I have to raise up a little bit. Okay, and what I do is that, this is the curl and then I collect it. Let's try and see if I can show you, okay, like this. I collect it like this and I just twist it around and then I put the curl up and secure it with one of these clip. Okay, and then put it like this. Okay, so we have secured the curl now and then we continue doing exactly the same thing around the whole head. Okay, so one side is now done. You know, it doesn't look perfect when you put them up. Only with practice will it look perfect, but I'm still not an expert in putting up the curls in my hair. Anyway, um, the front part of my hair I will do very last, but now I'm moving on to the second side. And don't forget never to curl these ends because that's going to look really bad if you do. <laughs> I've done that mistake, never again. Okay. 
Okay, so now I look like a Spice Girl from the 90s, but this is literally how it looks whilst I've put everything up. And like I said, I keep the fronts to the very last because them I just do very gently. I don't want them to be tight. I just like do them quite quickly. Literally just maximum 10 seconds. And then it becomes like this. So what's important is to do them so you pull them out from the face, not inwardly. And then just another 10 seconds like this. All right, so I'm going to let my curls cool down a little bit and these can just stay like this for now. So I'll wait it now a little bit. Depends if I have something to do, I wait longer. If I don't, then to be honest, occasionally I just take them out immediately. And I always start with the side that I started with because these curls have had the longest time to cool down. And yeah, just release all of my little clips. And you're gonna see that the curls are very tight, not very fashionable, but that's not the point. The point is that they're gonna loosen up and look really nice later on. So it looks a bit like this. Okay, and then the second side. Okay, so I'm ready, girls. <laughs> no, 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 we're not gonna leave it like this. Usually what I do is that I like to brush them out with my hand and also I take a brush, paddle brush in this case. I like to brush out my upper hair first gently and uh, gently also brush out the actual curls. Now there are many ways how you can actually brush it out. So there are many techniques. I'm just doing kind of the fast everyday type of style that I would go for. And I basically just leave the curls like this. All right, so I think now my curls look more or less the way I want them to look. Maybe they're a little bit, not exactly, but what I do is that I fixate with a really good hairspray. The one that I like to use is got to be, this one is really good, it's called Glued. It's a blasting free spray. It really fixates your hair quite nicely. So just give it a little spray. Um, I always wear my hair on the side because I feel more comfortable this way. I rarely actually wear it like, you know, on both sides. I don't like it so much. It's hard to really explain exactly what it is that I do, but I do like to kind of brush it out again and then just give it a, a little touch again with just a tiny bit of hairspray just to fixate a little bit. So the hair is now ready and it's not really going to look like this. Sometimes I also like to pin up my hair with a blonde colored pin in the back so that my hair really stays on one side. And yeah, just fixate it a little bit. I mean, this is not like the exactly the result how it's going to be for the rest of the evening or for the rest of the day. My hair is going to drop more, it's going to look more natural. Right now, it still look a little bit too, too tight the curls. So, but this is usually how I would look once I leave my house and then my hair will just kind of naturally change appearance in the next two hours or so. Anyway, ladies, so I hope you enjoyed this little hair tutorial of mine. It's not really a hair tutorial because I'm not an experienced hairdresser, but it is the way I do my hair and uh, for me it works. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will be doing more videos on how I do my makeup, how I do my skin. So keep an eye open on my channel by subscribing and don't forget to check out my other videos. I have loads of interesting content that you should not miss. I'll see you in the next video.